So this is my um, small snap-on MIG welder. It's only um, 135 amps. So nothing major, but it's a nice little unit really. And it's done me well. But the other week, it started to behave a little bit odd. Um, it seemed to strike up an arc before I pressed the button. Didn't think too much of it. Gas still came out when you pressed the button. But, um, and it had no effect on the welding ability. It all seemed to weld just as you'd expect. Um, and then it stopped welding altogether. Wire would still come out, gas would still come out. No arc. So, had a bit of a look, pulled this panel off. We just only held on some screws. And um, A, it's a little bit grubby in there. And B, I found this. This is the um, contactor for the earth clamp, which is here. And if I bring it a bit closer, you can see it's been getting rather warm. Um, and basically it's just burnt out. It is just absolutely knackered. You know, you can see how hot it's been getting. So, add some details and the model number. What's here? 910. 0910 HR 0910 well this company as far as information goes is absolutely useless and it seems to be an obsolete part um, I did manage to find um, Honeywell did a HR 0910 and it looks identical but it was like 90 quid I think it was plus shipping um, so I had a quick Google around and see what I could find and information wise really isn't a lot of help. But I did come across a site which listed solenoids for MIG welders. No real details, but from that I managed to track down one of these. Now It's spelt C-H-I-N-T, chint, whatever. I checked on my welder and the trigger feed, which you see here, was 240 volts. So this is what I've come up with, replacement. Now it looks a bit similar, except for these, but these are just tags that are screwed in. I'm not even going to bother trying to get these out because they're, well, you can see how hot they've been getting. So I'm going to make some new tags. Um, all accounts, this will do the job. Um, if you're going to do the same job or you've got the same problem, if you've got the same problem on your welder, I would suggest you make sure you check and get the right one for your welder. Um, I think this is the right one for mine time will tell but this was um, I think about 28 quid delivered so this is what I'm going to use so I've made me contact uh, plates up um, I've used some stainless steel you can use what you like the original ones were steel after all um, but it's just what I had laying around um, I've put a couple of holes in it because I'm not quite sure where they're going to line up. The visual one's stuck up. I've checked. There's loads of room around them, so these are what they're going to get. Um, got my connector cables in. A1 being positive, A2 being negative. I marked them before I took them off the old one, so I know which is which. And um, fingers crossed, it's all going to work. I'm going to get this put in. Uh, get this blown out and I'll bring you back in a minute. Right, got the connector in and it's all in place, all rigidly mounted. Uh, what I did in the end, because it was a bit of a pain in the ass, I got a bolt, put it through and bolted to this plate 
before I put it in there because getting the nut on and the nut and bolt, especially on the back side, was a right pain in the bottom. So I just double nutted it basically. Um, the back one is a heavy aluminium piece of metal bar basically which comes round to here. So I've made sure that's nothing, nothing touching and it's all good. I had to bend it um, in a couple of places but it's all good. This one just the cable routed straight on. So fingers crossed that's going to work. So I think it's a case of plug it in and try it. Right, it's either going to work or it's going to go bang. Good. Looks like it's going to work. Off we go. So there you go, all fixed. If you get one of these welders pack up, um, branded snap-on, but it's actually made by Cobra in Italy. Uh, I think they make a lot of um, snap-ons, uh, welders, um, battery chargers and that kind of stuff, I think. But this is built by Cobra in Italy. <coughs> if something like that happens, do a bit of research and um, fix it. Didn't cost a lot of money, and other than that, they're good solid machines.